everybody welcome back to the vlog I really appreciate your patience I have been a little slow on video content the past couple of weeks and I have a feeling that's kind of gonna continue but I have been really preparing for travels like I know I'm gonna be going to South Carolina I'm gonna be going to Ohio California and then to like Scandinavia and France so I'm going to be kind of all over the place and I don't know my video content what that's gonna be yet so I appreciate your patience and I hope that you stick around because I feel like it's gonna be really fun to document everything but today I thought it would be really fun to take you on a little vintage shopping adventure my favorite vintage place here in Burlington vintage inspired marketplace actually moved locations and they actually moved to a bigger location which I am sitting right outside of it's their first day open today so I'm have a feeling that not everything's gonna be up vendors are probably still moving stuff in but I thought it would be fun to go check it out and give you guys some fun vintage content while I figure out travel stuff and all of that. So I appreciate your patience and I hope you guys stick around because I'm so excited to document all of my travels. So let's go. It's so much bigger. Oh my god, this place is so much bigger than it used to be. But I still recognize a lot of the um, booths and things. Like this is the entrance. Oh my god, this little goose reminds me of like the geese from the Aristocats. It's super cute. so funny because I recognize so many of these pieces but they're in like a different place now which is kind of crazy. Gotta love a good candlestick. This is kind of cool. It's like twisted. 12 bucks. even filled all the space yet. Like this place is pretty big. This is why I like to make my rounds because I did not notice these cute salt and pepper shakers before. Look how cute they are. They're like little blue houses. So cute. They look like they could be like in Holland or something. So cute. Hi guys, I'm back. I only got those two little salt and pepper shaker blue house thingies, which I thought were really cute, but I'm so glad I got to like walk around. As you saw, they are still putting everything together and I'm excited to come back and see it when it's all done. And it's fun to kind of see everybody set up their stations and things like that because I don't know, maybe one day I'll have a booth or something in one of these places. You never know. So it's exciting to kind of see how business is done I guess in a way but I did overhear them saying that they have a lot of new vendors coming in so that's exciting for me who comes here all the time and I kind of see a lot of the same stuff over and over again so I kind of buy less and less the more I come so I'm excited if there's new vendors maybe we'll have new stuff that's exciting but I've realized the more I collect pieces the more picky I get because the less room and space I have. So if you're interested in any of the pieces I do have and that I have collected, go check out my latest video that I posted a few weeks ago 
about my latest vintage collection and then go to my Instagram Vives Vintage Finds and I have a lot of stuff listed on there that you can buy and add to your homes. I hope you guys have a great week. Please be flexible with me on video scheduling but I have a lot of ideas in my head that I just need to figure out so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Thank you.